Hello everyone, this is Tanya from Resonate VR. Uh, I would just like to uh, do this quick, well, hopefully quick tutorial. It will be in three parts. I'm gonna try and squish them all together so that way they're all in one video. Um, but there is three separate pores for this particular piece. I'm going to attempt something um, that I just tried that worked out really great with the toilet paper rolls. Um, and I did a galaxy theme uh, tray. So this time I'm actually gonna try to use these um, uh, construction paper. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. It's construction paper is a lot thinner than toilet paper rolls. So we're gonna see. Uh, I made a bunch of shapes. I already kind of laid out my, my design, so you're about to see it. And so first, the first layer is gonna be a clear layer of resin, and then you set down your pieces of paper and you let that cure. I'm gonna put mine in my pressure pot to make sure that there's no micro bubbles or anything like that and everything should be evenly spaced out. That's why I have it on this nice tray. And then after this, I'm going to, uh, then the next pour will be the colors. And then I get to pour the colors inside all the different um, shapes and everything that I've made. And then the last one will be the background. So I'm gonna show you all these step-by-steps. And uh, in this particular mold, I'm actually gonna have a fourth layer because this is a matte finish. And when I take it out, I'm gonna flip it out and so the, the front side is right here. So I'm gonna to have to pour a top coat and dome the top of it in order to really bring out everything that I'm doing. Uh, and the only thing I did with this mold is I brush the edge of this mold with a, uh, a flake from uh, Jet Age Studio called uh, Pink Envy. It is a really, really beautiful, beautiful flake. It, it's pink that shimmers green. I'm trying to go out of my uh, safe zone and try to do something that I'm really not. I, I'm going with whites, golds, and pinks, and greens. It's gonna be interesting. So it's gonna be kind of a flower. So let's see if we can do this. Because <laughs> I'm not feeling too confident. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna spritz a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Let's see here how much. I've mixed up six ounces of resin. I want just enough to coat the bottom. All right, so let's, let's see if this is gonna work out here. Might need to add a little bit more, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add more. It's already peeling away at some spots. Okay. I didn't think I was gonna have to use a full six, but it's a little bit more. It's still trying to pull away from me in some spots here. So yeah, I guess it will this oh there. <laughs> I guess this will take a little bit more. Okay, I have maybe like a half an ounce left. So I'm just trying to make sure I get all to the edges. I think that'll do it. Make sure that my tray is on there correct. Okay. Lots of spritzing. All right, let's try and get this um, piece in here. So I what I'm doing, I'm going to start off with the center. Okay. See, I think I'm already off by something here. So let's see here. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. It's all in. And I've got these cool pieces here. And these are bigger than the mold because what I will show you in the next step is I will um, uh, take, oh, come on, not there, okay. Oh, sh I'm still off by something here. Okay, maybe I need to move this one over more. Sorry, I had this all laid out. Okay, there we go. This looks like it just might work if I can get this in the correct placement where I want it to be. Um, I will show you in the next video as well what I was trying to say is after I pour the clear, actually it's going to be the third video, I'm going to trim down some of this paper once I get all the colors in where I want it to be. Whoops, I'm just going to skip that one. Okay, and I will put in one thing though. I have this cute little um, delphinium flower that's already been dried and pressed. So I want that to be my center here. So I'm gonna set that right in there. I'll drizzle a little bit of resin right on top of it just to make sure it's all sealed. Yeah, just a little. Okay, and I think that's it for right now, and then um, hopefully we won't be able to come back soon and uh, might fiddle around with the placement a little bit more <laughs> just to make sure I got it all straight. Make sure there's not too much resin in the center of these. I want just enough just to coat it. That's why sometimes I have to lift it up, let some of the resin come out. All right, like this one here, lift it up, let it come out. Okay, and that's it. So see you. Hello, hello, this is Tiny again with Resonate BR. All right, so this first layer is in and it looks really good. So now we're gonna work on colors, best part. All right, so I'm going to do pink, white kind of gold and some green the green is going to be in the background so i'm not going to worry about it too much right now i'm going to worry about just the petals and the little center of the flower as you can see i actually did the flower on the inside there like a real flower i believe it's a uh, uh type of delphinium a pink one um i got it as like a mix of dried flowers so I'm kind of guessing here. All right, this is a glitter um, that I got from Galactic Sugar uh, called Space Junk, and this was a while ago, so I don't think it's available now, but it's pink and green. I absolutely love it. I think it's really cool, and this is going to kind of bring in all the pink and stuff together. This is going to be one of my layers on the inside. I think it's going to be, nope, this layer. This is from Dipon uh, from Germany. I believe they're in Germany. It's gold with a purplish pink shift. It's really, really pretty. Actually, I'm gonna give credit to Sherry's Imagination on Instagram. She's the one who did a lot of fun stuff with this. It's a really, really beautiful color and I was just in love with it. I could not help myself. I guess it's a little more purpley than pink, but it, it's still gonna be really beautiful, I think. So, all right, that's gonna go in there. And then I'm going to do um, Snow White Dispersion Color from Counterculture. Uh, I am going to use quite a bit of this, so um, clean off that nozzle here a little bit. Oop. Oh, I probably should shake it up a little bit, too. You should always shake up these dispersions. 
Come on, open up. There we go. And you only need a couple drops. Three. Oop, that was a little more than what I wanted, but it's okay. And this is just pure white because I'm going to try and do an ombre going from white to pink. That's pretty, pretty white. I love this white. Okay. And then my other pink, I already have the resin in here. Oh, I'm probably going to need a little bit more. That's why I had a little bit of extra clear left over here so I can actually mix it in with the colors if I don't have enough in something. Um, this is going to be from Color Passion. Um, I got this from Duluc Art on Etsy. And it's a baby pink. That was really pretty. I love it. So I'm going to put this in about another ounce of resin. I haven't even opened this yet. This brand, brand new pigment. Absolutely love it. And I've never had a problem with anything from uh, Color Passion or Duluc. It's always a beautiful, beautiful color. It's deeper than Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> so um, I think this is going to be really, really pretty. Just kind of mixing it up a little bit. And you never need much when it comes to pigment paste. Especially since I'm only doing like about an ounce. That's about all I need right there. Let me see if I can get the thing to show. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, put this back on. And I've got pigment going everywhere. That's okay. And boom. I'm gonna let that sit here a moment. And actually, I'm gonna take out this um, mixing thing here because it's going to be a little too much pigment, I think, if I keep it in there. So. It's going to be pretty. I love it. And I need to change my glove because otherwise I'm going to be getting that pigment on everything. And that's not a good thing. All right. My last color, which is going to be in the middle here, so I do not need much. I'm going to use, again, Color Passion from Duluc Art. It's called Butterscotch. I think this is going to be a really, really pretty color for um, the interior of the flower. And... Um, Again, I hadn't even had a chance to open it yet, so, ooh, that looks like the interior of a flower. That's going to be good. I think it's going to be working really nice. It's almost like a mustard yellow. Um, please forgive the noise in the background. That is my husband taking our dog outside. So, apologies. All right, so again, butterscotch. Not need much. I think that's going to work out really good. And again, I'm going to take this out because this already has too much pigment on it. And I'm going to use just a plain stick here and just kind of mix it around a little bit more. There we go. Let that sit. So these are my colors that I'm going to use in this um, piece. I'm trying to wipe off the excessive amount of color on my gloves all right let's get going on pouring so i'm going to start off with this little bit of glitter um and i do have some molds nearby so if i have too if i have too much color i can pour it into the mold later so watch the lizard i have a lizard that is looking or watching me so And I want just enough. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of leftover resin. I see that now. And my dog is barking. This is the problem with videotaping. <laughs> you get everything out there. One more. Yep, I have extra resin. That's okay. Cool. <gasps> All right. I'm also going to spritz the uh, inside here of these um, containers here, trying to get some of these bubbles out of there. Oop, if I can actually aim. Okay. 
there we go. It just helps with the bubbles inside the color and um, there we go. All right, now let's try the centerpiece. The center, I wanted to do this with um, butterscotch, making sure that's all mixed up. Now I am watching what I am doing. I'm not watching the camera, so forgive me. I want just enough to kind of cover it. All right. So yes, I will have lots of leftover resin. Ah. Oh well, that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do this dipon. And I'm also gonna pour it right on top of the color, uh, the flower. The flower has been completely encased in resin, so um, this way that'll give it a little bit more of a background. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this just to make it a little bit deeper of color. Okay, that's it for that. All right, now I get to do the petals. All right, I'm gonna try and do an ombre. So this is gonna be interesting here. So a little bit of white. And my son is coming down to talk. There we go. All right. I probably have to do each individual petal just so that way I get about the same amount of color per petal. And then I'm going to swirl it as soon as I get all the color in there. There we go. Okay. White. Pink. This one's always kind of tricky because I got the things a little close there. All right. This one actually might need a little bit more. So close to almost being done, I promise. Okay, a little bit more white. This one might need a little bit more. Okay, might need a little bit more pink too. Come on, a little bit more. I'm almost done with the pink, so that's about all I got. All right, boom. Now for the swirling and also trying to make sure that I got it all around these circles. That's going to be a, a test. Yep. One good thing about having it as cardboard is I can just shove this in here and it's or not cardboard. I'm sorry. Um, uh, construction paper. There we go. I'm just gonna shove it in there, let it drip down a little bit. Okay. 
Also, I think when I'm about, since I'm about to put this in the pressure pot, it's going to, um, it's going to come out pushed into those gaps where, uh, right around these circles. So I think it's going to work out really good. Oops. This is a test, so I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm hoping it's going to turn out good. Let me stand up here to see. This one right here is giving me a little bit of an issue. Okay. Now to swirl, I think. Okay, this is definitely not working out quite as well as I'd hoped. It's blending though, so I guess that's kind of the key to ombre. <laughs> All right, that is all I'm going to do with this layer. Um, maybe a quick little spritz here just to kind of help out with bubbles. And that's it. I'm going to put this in the pressure pot, let this uh, cure, then I come back. I'm going to clip all the excess uh, paper, and then I'm going to pour the background. And I don't know if I'm going to cover the entire background or if I'm just going to do just the sides. We're going to see that later, so please stay tuned. Thank you.